Hello, I'm Clifton Renard Hawkins, speaking again from the Word of God and concluding my messages today in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians is composed of six chapters, 155 verses, 3,039 words, and only one question. Today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 6, where it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Debate all you want to, but the Bible itself is right. And what this verse is telling us and saying to us is right. If you don't do this, you're not right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Notice, honor thy father and thy mother. And notice what's in parenthesis, which is the first commandment with promise. That's what the Apostle Paul tells us. That it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. We often talk about today our young people and their behavior. People need to look at this verse and say, well, the Bible is right. And are they doing that? Are they obeying their parents? Are they honoring thy father and thy mother? And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. We see the responsibility of being a father. The Bible tells us. Tells us that you are to bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Notice. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Doing the will of God. Not going around just quoting and going around trying to impress humanity, but we need to do the will of God. Many people boast about their knowledge and their being able to quote about grace and etc. But are you doing the will of God? Notice, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. So there's a result in what we do in our actions and ye masters do the same thing unto them forbearing threatening knowing that your master also is in heaven neither is there respect of persons with him so we see the relation between servants and masters we see the relation of children and parents and we see what the fathers should be doing in terms of, of parenthood finally my brethren Paul is writing to the saints, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We all need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. If you keep reading the Pauline epistles, we see that we are in perilous times. We see that the days are evil. And we see that we are needed to be standing uh, against the wiles of the devils. Notice, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We need to be ready for the conflict. I wonder, sometimes I hear people on the media and watch people on on television say that uh, we should not have problems and everything should uh, just go just fine. But according to the Apostle Paul, there's going to be conflict. There's going to be persecution. There's going to be opposition. But we need to uh, be able to uh, handle the situation. And the Bible gives us the answer. We need to put on the whole armor of God. Here's the word wherefore again. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done, done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt, girt about with truth. We start with truth. What is truth? That which is actual, that which is possible, and that which is factual. Not only that, having on the breastplate of righteousness. The definition of righteousness is the standard of perfection. 
and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. The gospel, the good news of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. This is how we stand in this evil day, wherewith uh, ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. We have this, we have victory. And take on the uh, helmet of salvation, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Every believer should be doing this. Every believer should have on the whole armor of God. Every believer should, should ever be uh, aware and knowledgeable and have wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Word of God. Every day, I, my goal is, is to teach and preach and hear and be taught the Word of God. And, and notice here, it says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication, for all saints, we need to pray. We saints need to pray. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of, of the gospel. Paul, to whom this mystery was given, mystery, sacred, secret, this uh, message that was committed to him, Paul requested prayer. I, as a minister, of, of preacher of the word, I need prayer also. And I need prayer that my mouth may be open, that I may make boldly known uh, the mystery of the gospel, the sacred secret of the good news. The good news is Christ died for our sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I need to have prayer that I may boldly make news, know, uh, known the secret of this good news, for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. The apostle of the Gentiles was an ambassador in bonds. People reject the unadulterated, undiluted message of grace. Salvation by faith, uh, by grace through faith alone in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. How we are chosen uh, in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. A lot of people quote these verses, but if you really teach them the way it's uh, written in the Word of God, you'll find that you need to have somebody to pray for you for boldness, to make these truths known. But ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Titus, uh, a beloved brother and faithful minister of the Lord, shall make known to you all things whom I sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye may, might know our affairs and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren. And love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. I pray that these words that we have said to you are enlightening. That you will study your Bible. Rightly divide the word of truth. And stand and live the grace life. Not just boast, but live the grace life. We have a standing, we have a state. We, we have wealth, we also have a walk. We have a position, but we also have performance in this age of grace in which we live. And one day we'll be with him throughout eternity. We today are believers, we are saints, we are set apart, we are members of the body of Christ. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening and pray for me. I am your beloved brother, Clifton Renard Hawkins. Thank you.